Hey everybody, Daryl Holly with Exquisite Exotics here, coming at you with about take 17 of this video because every time we do it, something in this room dings or bells or turns on and or we the are, cat meows or, or the <laughs> cat does something. So we are going to, uh, this is it, this is the final take, I swear. Anyway, uh, so we're doing Cresty Tubs today and you can tell by the description how to do them on the cheap if uh, price is, you know, important, which it is to most people. Money is important to most people. Um, so we're going to try to do this on a budget and show you what we do. Uh, so first thing, a tub. Uh, Vanna White. <laughs> uh, so this is a shoebox tub. Uh, it's called Shoebox from the Container Store, so that's what we use. Um, and then we go ahead and write on the outside any of the information that we keep uh, for our geckos. Holly can turn it a little bit there. Oh, so, yes, I'm sorry. So there was a reflection from the light above us. Um, so we rewrite the information that we keep. Uh, you can use a permanent Sharpie or uh, you can use a dry erase marker on them as well. Uh, the benefit of using the permanent Sharpie is if you're wiping away the tub or doing a disinfectant, it doesn't wipe off as easily. But if you have like quick notes that you don't care that, you know, if it gets wiped away, no biggie, you can use a dry erase on them as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we add screen ventilation to the front, which we actually have a video on. Um, if I remember, I'll try to put a link to that video in the description so you can see how we add that. Yep. All right, All right. One, one quick second here. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that we cut off some other background noise that we got going on yes while Daryl's doing that I'll actually just go ahead and um, kind of show you exactly what we get started here so we use a paper towel substrate for our geckos um, for all of them from hatchling to adult um, we just find that it's so much easier to clean your tub um, all their waste gets stuck to it we don't normally have anybody going underneath or doing anything like that so it's just it makes it so much easier to clean and then I just take a little bit of water and spray down the side. One that gets the uh, environment already uh, moisturized and ready for them to have a higher humidity. And then also it helps to fold the paper towel uh, to actually um, conform to the actual shape of the shoe box. And that way this flap doesn't hinder anything that's in the tub. Yep, and we just use water for that. So it's mm -hmm. just water sprayed in there. Yep, yep. Brita or RO, whatever um, you use, we use. Uh, RO most of the time. Um, and then I'm going to take a piece of bamboo. They are arboreal, so to have a branch or stick in there will help them um, be able to climb. And we notice they do climb, and most of the time, all the way to the tip top. So, yeah, and if you notice that branch is cut so that it sits diagonally uh, from corner to corner uh, in the tub. Next thing that I put in is a um, just a part or um, a strip of. A piece of floral you get this at the floral section of your craft store just it's leaves and branches it's nothing really fancy um, and put that in there again to go with the arboreal habitat that they're used to in the wild now Holly says nothing fancy but we do specifically buy from Hobby Lobby for a reason mm -hmm. which I will sure. discuss when we get to it um, but you can also uh, use reptile foliage that you get at a pet store too as well mm -hmm. And then finally for their habitat, I put in a piece of treated cork bark. Um, we treat this ourselves. Um, we do it in bulk and we'd like to probably do a video on that one day as well so that you can do that um, for yourself. Yeah. This does make it cheaper. A quick note about the cork. Uh, that's in there so that they have a rough surface to rub against when they're shedding. Um, we use cork only because we have a local distributor that we can buy it at wholesale really cheap. I say local, they're about an hour and a half from us. Um, but you could also use a really rough rock to do the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. And the final thing that we put in um, is this strip of PVC. Um, it, uh, it actually is able to house their um, food and water. And the reason we use it is to um, ensure that the water doesn't get tipped over. You never know if within like a minute after you've checked everything, everybody and put them away for the evening or the morning until you come back in a couple hours and check again, they could have knocked it over and they wouldn't have water for that time. So it helps keep it in place. And then also it helps them not tip over their food dish um, so that they don't get their little toes sticky in the, in the food as well. So um, we cut it to size to fit yeah, two on, bottle caps. Oh, sorry. Um, so yeah, so that's, we use quarter inch PVC yeah. there. Uh, we buy it in a sheet. Uh, the thickness is going to be determined by what kind of caps you're putting inside of it. Uh, we just cut it to size and then use a hole saw and a drill and drill out the holes ourselves. Um, 
We used to use, if you watch our old screen video, a wood burner to cut out the screen hole, but we switched to a Dremel Sawmax, which is fantastic. I highly recommend that as a tool if you like doing DIY stuff. Uh, we also now use that to cut our strips of PVC. Mm -hmm. So Dremel Saw Max is great for just cutting through PVC like that. It works really well. And then like I said, a whole saw, just cut whatever size you need. And then Holly's about to show you that we throw in bottle caps. Oh, yes. So Good just, points on that. That Saw Max was amazing yeah. um, investment to have. Um, so yeah, just, and we cut it using a whole saw that'll fit the size of the bottle caps. These are just water bottle caps. These aren't like milk jug or... Um, Gatorade size because those can be a lot bigger um, that works perfectly for the hatchlings as far as food and water for um, the few hours in between that we check. So. Yep and then we have uh, one other thing that we add into our uh, Crested Gecko setups of course probably um, the most important piece that we add in our Crested Gecko setups <laughs> that would be a Crested Gecko. Oh well, he's, he's excitable today. See. Um, yep, see look he's already using stuff to hide. Um, so yeah it's not much of a Crested Gecko setup without a Crested Gecko right? <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and uh, fill up his food and water dishes here real quick, get him set back up, uh, and we'll come back to you with Colstein. All right, be right back, guys. All right, everybody, we're back. All right, let's go through cost. All right, I have notes. Uh, so shoe boxes from the container store are normally 39 for 20 bucks, but they are on sale half of the year probably. <laughs> They're on sale all the time. Uh, and they're on sale right now, actually, when I went to go check. So <laughs> uh, I knew we put the sale prices that way. $31.80, so $31.80 for 20 of them. So that comes out to $1.59 for your tub. Now, if you're thinking, ah, oh, but what, I only need one tub, Daryl. I only have one gecko. I don't have a whole bunch of geckos like you guys. Well, if you only need to buy one tub, it's $1.99. So it's still not much difference. But I am going to go with the cheapest cost because if you're keeping geckos and breeding geckos, it makes sense to buy stuff in bulk. Mm -hmm. So a buck fifty nine for your tub. And as a side note, if you've never been to the container store, I'm gonna geek out a little bit. That is like an organizer's dream. It is, it very is nice. amazing. We yeah. have one in the state, so yeah. it's pretty awesome to go to. All right, leaves. So we mentioned we get ours from Hobby Lobby. That's because um, I have tested them now. Okay, not in a scientific way. If you're thinking, oh, Daryl, but they might not listen. They, they don't bleed colors, any of the ones we use, okay? Mm -hmm. We've tested them a lot, and they haven't bled any colors. Um, and I'm confident we've used them long enough now that they're safe for reptiles. Mm -hmm. So I can't say everything from Hobby Lobby is, but we buy the, like, flat leaf bundles that are $1.99. So you, if you see the flat leaf bundles for, like, buck ninety nine, that's what we use. Mm -hmm. um, and we've been using them for a while, had no issues. When we get them, we disinfect them really well. We soak them really well, just in case they are gonna leach anything. Um, and again, they've never leached color. Some people say, you know, you buy leaves, cheap leaves from a hobby store, they're gonna bleed colors out. And, and yes, absolutely, some do. Um, I haven't had that issue with the Hobby Lobby ones. In fact, um, Hobby Lobby in their garland section has plastic leaved garland. Uh, that we use for our adults and that I can almost nice. guarantee you is it feels looks like it's probably made from the exact same materials that they make the reptile plastic ones from um, and that's going with my engineering background that they're probably the exact same materials maybe even made in the same factory you'd be surprised how much <laughs> stuff is made in the exact same factory and then just relabeled as something else right um, the fabric ones that we use, not so much. And the fabric ones, what's nice is they're super cheap. So if they start to deteriorate, you just throw them away and get another mm -hmm. one. All and right. with that, we'd be like he's saying, we are talking about cost here. It's $1.99 for one of those um, bundles. Yep. And I cut it into three. Yep, I was going to so, get to that. Oh, okay. I apologize. Yep. yep. <laughs> so uh, buck ninety nine. Now, at any time, and I literally mean any time, if you search online, Google's my search engine of choice, uh, for 40%... Hobby Lobby, you are going to get a 40% off coupon. You can do that 365 days of the year, but they're not open on Sundays, so divide by 52 times 7 minus that from 365. That's how many days you can use it. Um, so they come out to a buck 19. Uh, Holly mentioned we you get three out of one bundle, so that's 40 cents for your leaves for one gecko enclosure. All right, bamboo. Uh, you can get them all kinds of places, but if you need a spot, go to Josh's Frogs. They're 99 cents a stick. Uh, you cut them to length, so that's 99 cents for your piece of bamboo. 
uh, the food holder. So we calculated out when we buy a sheet, how many food holders we make, that cost us 14 cents. The screen for the front, it was like a little over a penny for what the actual screen usage is, <laughs> but I'm adding in a little extra in there for the hot glue that we use, so let's say five cents. Uh, bottle caps are free. If you're paying for a bottle cap, you're doing it wrong. Uh, <laughs> if you don't drink bottled water, ask some friends, ask some coworkers to keep bottle caps for they you. Will. They will. <laughs> um, we've gotten extra ones from uh, friends and coworkers kind of deal. Um, so you can get bottle caps for free. Don't ever pay for a bottle cap. That's just silly. Um, lastly, the cork. So I'm marking this as free. We probably use a couple pennies worth of cork. Um, but like I mentioned, you can use a rock. And if you go outside and look, you can find a rock that's got rough edges. So that's all you need. And then you just need to disinfect it really well. Okay. So that comes to $3.17 for a Crested Gecko tub for us. And that's being generous with the fact that I added some extra money in there for the screen and I kind of overestimated what our food holders cost. So $3.17. I'm rounding it up because I think in the description of this video I'm going to say for under $3.25. So round it up to three and a quarter. Uh, and maybe you're thinking, well, Daryl, I don't have the tools to make your own food holder, so that's clearly going to cost you more. Yes. But even if you don't use every single piece we use, if you use some of the stuff, Right? Each piece we use individually is cheap. So take the pieces that you can do yourself, make them, buy them. For the things that you're like, I, I want to use, uh, let's say you like the, the Pangea food holders. They are very, very mm -hmm. nice. Um, go buy yourself a Pangea food holder, throw it in. Yeah, it's going to cost you a little more than our $3.17, but make it yours. Don't think that you have to do it as cheap as you can. And if you don't have the tools to make something, that don't. Uh, there's other ways to do stuff too. We use that screen um, for the front of our ventilation, but when we first first started doing that, uh, we just drilled holes. A lot of holes, but we drilled holes, and that works for ventilation too. So all you need is drill. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So you can definitely do it uh, differently. You can do it um, cheaply. Um, and if you can't do any of the things we did, you there's alternatives, um, and I would say just use those. So, but for us. $3.17, maybe a little less, um, for a Crested Gecko tub is pretty darn good. Uh, something I didn't mention in the, in the video about the tubs, um, those tubs, the lids on those, uh, you have to be very careful when you're snapping them on. They don't snap on and lock really great. They are good enough. So if you're very careful and make sure it's snapped, the gecko can't get out. But if you're ever concerned about it, just put a little weight on the top of it and they won't be able to get out of that. Uh, I think that covers it. That's everything we wanted to go over. Um, I don't have anything else. Holly? I don't either. All right. We went through pretty well, yeah. actually. All right, guys. Uh, if you have any questions about how we do any of the stuff that we did, um, questions about how we set it up, uh, or you want to see videos on anything else, let us know, and we're happy to do them. All right. Thanks, guys. As always, like, subscribe, comment, all the YouTube things if you want to. If not, eh, no big either. All right. Talk to you all later. Bye. Bye.